Hi, I'm Sally Briggs, and I'm glad that you're here today. I hope that you receive something from this message that I just feel strongly in my heart to share with you. So I'd like to start with prayer. Dear Father, I just thank you so much for this message. I thank you, God, that so many of us struggle with worry, anxiety, uh, fear, depression, and there is a way to overcome it, Lord God, and there are uh, words and truths in your in your Bible, Lord God, in your word that show us exactly um, who you are in our lives and how we do, do not have to fear and we do not have to worry. So Father, I thank you for this message today. I pray that it blesses whoever might hear it and I give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to share with you um, a message that came to me just the other day. I was thinking about some different things that I've heard in the past, different scriptures, and I was struggling with this little moment of anxiety. Um, I hate conflict, and it goes back to my childhood when I was a, a fixer. I was just a fixer ever since I was a very little girl. Um, it's kind of the relationship and how I grew up as a child. And I continued to be that way. And I struggle with still wanting to be that way. And I have to just turn it over to God. So we were uh, recently snow skiing with our sons who are, who are almost 30 and almost 27 years old. And I had a moment of anxiety when... I, they were having some conflicts between themselves and they were unhappy with each other and I was struggling with which way to turn and who to, um, who to support or who to comfort or etc. And I just, I, it just overcame me and it was such a silly little thing. And yet, if we've grown up in situations um, that weren't quite perfect, which I'm sure none of us had perfect childhoods, uh, but we can have triggers that set us right back into those experiences or those feelings that we had as a child when we couldn't overcome that feeling or we couldn't do anything about it because we were too little. And so this is what happened to me in this moment. I couldn't handle the conflict. I couldn't fix the situation. So I had to finally let it go, but it, it really at the moment overwhelmed me. And then when I got home and spent time with God and really was seeking His Word, a couple things came to me that I believe are so important. One is that um, perfect love drives out fear. And the enemy is always about fear. God is always about faith. If you're having anxiety, worry, depression, it all is rooted in fear, and that's totally the enemy. So first of all, you have to get a grip on that and realize this is the enemy, and I have to overcome the enemy because that's who truly we are in Christ. We are overcomers through Christ who died and set us free. So you have to, you have to get that into your mind. And then the scripture that really stuck in my heart was perfect love drives out fear. So if the root of anxiety, which is what I was dealing with, is fear, then I have to realize what is the perfect love that drives out the fear? In 1 John 14, we read perfect love drives out fear. And if you are feeling fear, then you are not living in that perfect love. The perfect love, the only one who is of perfect love, is Christ himself. God the Holy Spirit, Christ himself. Perfect love. If we know that he perfectly loves us, which he does, completely, totally, wholly, exactly as we are, then we should have never anything ever to be worried about or to ever feel like we can't trust God in because he so perfectly loves us. And he is more powerful than anything we could ever come against. Any emotion, any person, any creature, anything in the whole world, he is greater than and more powerful than. So if we can just acknowledge that perfect love is over us, is through us, is in us, then we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to be anxious about anything. But then... From there, I started to think about Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, which says, Search me, God, thoroughly, 
and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Oh my goodness. If we're feeling anxious about something and we continue to feel anxious about this same thing and it, we just cycle in it, in and out of it, whether it's around people or situations, but it brings up a negative feeling, then God is going to continue to allow that experience to come into our lives in order that he might test us to, dis, to, dis, to determine if we're still feeling anxious in this area. Because if we are, then we're not truly trusting him. We're not truly trusting him. And so the test is going to continue to keep up rising within us until we can overcome it by giving it to Jesus, casting our cares to him, realizing that he perfectly loves us and in, in so in so loving us, He will take care of our situations. He will handle what we're going through if we give it to Him. That's what true perfect love is. And we don't want to keep going through the test over and over again, dealing with the same people or the same sub subjects. So pass the test. Hang on to Christ. Know that His perfect love will overcome whatever you're going through and cast it over to Him. So Lord God, I pray this message right now is just so within each person who heard it. I pray that they take it, that they can grow in it, that they can cast their cares to you, to the one who loves us more than we could ever imagine, and that you will take it and you will take care of the situation. So I thank you for this, Father. I thank you for this message. Again, I praise you, give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen to you. Thank you.